Well, hello there. Hey, it's great to see you. Come on in out of that windy, rainy weather that we're having today. I think we're getting ready to have a great big old storm here in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina over the next couple of days. Come on inside where it's dry. I've got a fire going. Let's uh, go over your inspection report together, shall we? Okay, now let's take a look at the inspection report and see how it reads out. This is a generic report. This is exactly what you will get, only your information obviously will be filled into all these blanks. The upper right-hand corner of the report is the legend. Each one of these initials pertain to something. A is consistent with the age of the chimney. B, C comments below. C, repairs needed. D, need further evaluation or E, not applicable. And they're placed into the boxes next to the parts of the chimney that can be easily identified in this diagram. And then, of course, you'll find my comments here below. Now, let's take a look at your particular, your personal report. So stay with me. Hey, Dean, it was great to see you and uh, meet with your client out at the house. What a beautiful house, beautiful location, too. All right, let's go inside. Let's take a look at that living room fireplace. It's an open wood-burning fireplace. It's got a working damper. A flu system looks great. No problems with that. Go downstairs, we can see it's, uh, this, this uh, fireplace has been rarely used, if at all. Uh, also working damper, flu system looks great there as well. If we go uh, to the top, here's what it looks like up on top. We notice that there's no chimney caps up here. You remember the chimney caps are not code required in either North or South Carolina. They're highly recommended to keep the birds, the squirrels, and the rain out, but there are no chimney caps up here. The contractor, original contractor, did not have to install them in order to um, to receive the certificate of occupancy. So for the for the homeowners, so would be something to think about in the future. Remember, with this 11 and 12 pitch roof, which means very steep, and the height of the chimney over the roof, which means you can't stand anywhere on this roof and touch the top of the chimney, scaffolding will have to be applied. Remember, scaffolding, roof scaffolding, is always best applied by roofers because there is going to be some roof damage and you want that fixed right away. Let's look in the study. I'm calling the room to the left, the study, beautiful fireplace unit. Uh, there's a house switch on the right hand side that I think could be employed in this. This is, uses a what is called a thermal pile. It's a little uh, sensor in there that sends enough electricity to uh, use a house switch and there's a house switch on the right hand side that I believe was originally set up for that. It just wasn't, uh, the wiring wasn't completed there. However, this unit works great. It uses this on-off switch right here up underneath the unit. So right underneath those louvers right there's on-off and you can turn the flame up or down, whatever you choose to do with that. Up on top, we see that uh, it's kind of a un unconventional little uh, chimney. It gives the house some character. Uh, this is the flue pipe sticking out the top. You see it does have a cap. This unit came with one as part of the system and they recognized, the company recognized that it does need a cap to keep the rain, the birds, the leaves, and, and debris out. So everything is good with that. You folks have questions for me, give me a call, 704-526-6348. You can email me at chris at affordablesweep.com.